This episode covers one day of a new project plan. The plan is to provide food and nutrition to a school and sustainability and growth to a community. But what this episode is really all about is just an idea. When you have a new idea and you're putting things into action, one of the keys to success is effective communication. So leadership from all different areas joined for a meeting to make sure everybody was on the same page. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I know this is going to be wonderful. You took me on a walk from your Boma and you stood me on the top of the dike. And you said, this is my vision. We also get a chance to see your classroom and we see your writing and we see your teaching and it's beautiful teaching. I asked you a question. I said, when do they have lunch? And you looked at me and said, lunch what? We don't do lunch in the middle. We just have never done that. I was able to send a donation to be able to buy food to feed your children for a number of months. But then the money ran out. You know, I asked them, how's the, how's the lunch program going on? But they said, well, we ran out of money. We had no more money to buy the, the vegetables. And so I said to them, I'm not gonna keep giving you money. You need to use your gifts and your talents and skills to figure out how you can raise the money so that you can put it toward this project. But you won't even be motivated to raise the money unless you think the project is good. Let's figure a way to use your talents and skills, what you are good at, to raise the money so you can fund a continuous school program. One thing that you are very good at is raising animals. You raise cattle, you raise goats, you raise them for a number of months. I believe you said six to seven months. And after six to seven months, you can sell these animals for double the price that it costs to buy them. They will sell the animals in turn, take the money and It's a very humble lunch program for these kids. $500 can last three months to feed 100 children in the school. And the purpose of that food is to nourish their brain so they can continue to learn because nobody will argue that unless there's fuel in the engine, it cannot run. Unless there's fuel to the brain, it does not think as good. And so, because you double your price, half of the money would fund this school lunch program we call the Bulls and Billy Goat program. The other half of the money, you would buy new livestock. Before we go any further in their story, I just want to backtrack a little bit to fill you in on some details. Because Dr. Dave had this plan for a while, so he came here with money that he raised. Some of it his personal money, some of it from friends, some of it from family, and some of it even from Carrie, who was also present for this meeting. But Dave was also touched by this third grade class who took it upon themselves after hearing about this program to raise money by organizing a bake sale. This third grade class raised $404, and certainly the number isn't the magic. The, the idea is the enlightenment to say, I can make a difference. And so what we are here for now, today, as a very big continuation of that program, is to go into the, into the city, go to market, and buy some cattle, some baby cows, and goats because our number one goal is to help you help other people. When all of us, we were born from different countries, different <clears throat> continents, different mothers, fathers. We come from different cultures and generations. But God has good news from the beginning that one day, one time, we will all of us come together and talk something. In, in, in regards to the projects, we are ready, we will, happy, we will have it, and we will, we will hold it in order to be able to walk far. Because they say if you want to walk far, you walk with others. And we want to walk far. We don't want to walk fast. They say the great measure of a man is not in time of uh, comfort it, and convenience. It is at this time, in moments of uh, challenges. So it is our, it, this is the time. This is actually, I can say even, this is a good time to do something like this one. It's going to be a big project in this community. It is going to, control, to transform many lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father, and I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. All right, let's go buy some animals. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, very. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. 
All right, boys and girls, we're going to real livestock market. The goal from today is to buy two cows and four goats. This would start the program. What they expect is each cow should cost about 50,000 shillings or $500, and each goat would be about $50. Is this crazy or what? Jackson, yeah. you, do the, you do the bidding, you do the buying, and we give the money. I have a really good feeling about this, that this is going to work out really, really well. I do see some change happening here, and it really makes me feel good that that's actually happening. So here we go, ready to buy some bulls and some billy goats. How do you decide? You look the eyes. Eyes, the color also, we select the You look the feet, whether they are huge. You look the tail. The ears also matters. Everything matters but to get the best one. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand for that one. Is that is that a good price? Yeah. It was surreal because I'm sitting there in this environment, dust and and, and cattle and people kind of bumping and turning and asking and and you know selling and buying and, and now Jackson is looking for the very best animals that he knows they can kind of seed this whole project. Congratulations, our first bull. Uh, yeah, our first, first bull. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Jumbo. That one's cows. He does the picking and he would turn to me and say, what do you think, what do you think about this one? I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is, this is, you think this is good? I'll go along with that. They're negotiating their price now. Discussing, this will be the second bull, second cow bought for the bulls and billy goat. He decided this was a better looking cow, and now they're negotiating for what the price would ultimately be. He said that 30,000. Is that a good price? Yeah. You're, ha you're happy with that price? Yes, very fair. Very fair? Yes. Okay. Because, you know, they're very nice cows, and so the, 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 the cows meet to have a baby. Good. This, and this to have a baby, and I look at this baby. Oh, so, okay, okay. Very nice. You're good with that? Yeah. What's most amazing to me with all this process, this is the end, this is the action. Prior to the action is just the vision, the dream. And then along with the vision and the dream, you start to think about it. The more you think about it, the more it starts to materialize. And this is the materialization of a wonderful vision that'll serve a lot of children. It's quite awesome. To the good market. So Benson. Yes. What does this mean to you? It means everything. Buying the cattle, buying the goats, just amazing. I'm actually overwhelmed. The market look nice, even because the sun is there. I really like the weather. The weather looks favorable. So it's amazing and it means everything. We are actually, I'm humbled, we are, we are honored and uh, excited. It's hard to hear Jackson because he speaks so low and I can't hear his negotiation tactics. All I can tell him is that he's relentless and he never accepts the first offer. We'll grab, you ready to grab one? One, two, three, four. 38, 38, three, four. Fourteen thousand six hundred. Okay, so you got the goats picked out. You've negotiated the price. It's a fair price. And now it's time to pay the man. Fourteen thousand six hundred. Yeah. Fourteen thousand six hundred. Fourteen. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So they're adding it up. I think the number is 2,600 for the gate fee and the... Uh, they charge an animal a gate fee? They do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a freaking business, man. Yeah, oh, the, the cows, the cows are 300. 5,000, the goats are, yeah, the cows, 3,000, 3, 30,000. I mean, I That's thought they were going to be 50,000. Yeah, so, but this is a good way to start this program. Good call, Benson. They're expected to turn that goat and cow into a profit.
This is about helping them get a little leg up so that they can create their own lives. From these four goats and two cows, they should be able to make a profit and have more goats and cows. And they don't need us anymore. All of this project, everything involved with it, seemed like it was lined up for success. But there's unforeseeables and there's things you can't control. So while they had their livestock and they were off to a good start, severe drought caused desperation and ultimately Benson and Jackson had to sell the livestock just in order to survive. You know, mission work is really hard. A lot of times you have great ideas and you have the resources to create change, but it's really hard to initiate change. Sometimes things are out of your control and it just ruins a project. So even though some of us can look at this project as a failure, you should check out some of the work Dr. Dave is doing because from this pilot program, he learned a lot and he has applied that to other programs that are successful. And I guess that's the good news. That's how I see it in my shoes.